Good afternoon, Bluebirds. I'm Jared with your announcements. Happy birthday to Eden Brom Broomer, Caleb Hollinsworth, and Noah Troxel. Students, all library books are due back now. Please return to the books to the library as soon as possible and take care of any fees you may owe or on late books or lost books. The library has six days to get all the books back, so please do your part. Any middle school girl interested in trying out for middle school volleyball in the fall should attend an informational meeting today after school in Mr. Neopoy's room 106 at 245 to pick up either a sports physical or any other important material at the meeting. Exams are, be, are next week. I'm sure your teachers have been working hard to get you prepared. Here are a few more tips for you. For the past couple days, students have been completing K-Prep, which is an exam that has been proven to stress students. We have a couple days to study before we head into our final exams. Here are a few ways to prepare yourself as we head to our final state testing stages for the school year. Start studying early. Students should ask teachers what information they should study. Students should dig up old tests or assignments to review. Perhaps ask your teachers for a study guide. A lot of teachers send out links to codes or an online quizzes. Don't wait until the night before to pull an all-nighter and cram all that information into your brain. Way to get the sleep your body deserves. Get a good 8 to 10 hour sleep schedule together before all the craziness and chaos begins. Step 3. Stay calm. We all have embarrassing moments in our life when we lose our composure, but these should not be one of those moments. All students have to do is take a deep breath and keep moving forward. Finally, don't rush on the test. When you rush on something as important as the exams, it could go bad really quick. Pay great attention to the details and questions. Remember, exams begin next Wednesday, so start studying now. Now for this week's final calendar clue. The category this week is sports figure. This former baseball player is known for his bulging biceps, which were so big that this team was prompted to go to sleeveless, sleeveless uniforms for almost 15 years. Wednesday's clue was there's a statue of him at the former team's current ballpark. Tuesday's clue was this person who played in the oldest team in M Major League history has had his jersey retired. Monday's clue was that this person began his baseball career as an amateur free agent. When you know the answer, go to the library and fill out the answer slip. For lunch today, we are having chicken patty sandwiches, french fries, and steamed vegetables. The alternate is hamburgers. For lunch tomorrow, we are having max cheese sticks with marinara and steamed vegetables. The alternate is Fiesta 6. Remember, you can always fix yourself a salad or add fresh fruit to your lunch. Finally, if, if any of you own a negative cafeteria balance, you need to take care of that. Have a great rest of the day, Bluebirds.